Almost all of our videos to date have been positive and exciting, but this video will not be like that. I will be debunking some harsh lies spread from a famous influencer who owns a ton of Dogecoin. Now the purpose of this video is not to harm his reputation. In fact, I'm sure he's a great guy. I watched his story on Andre's channel. However, his investing mindset and the ideas he's sharing on his own platform will be harmful to those who follow him blindly. My goal with Whiteboard Crypto is simply education, and I hope that's what this video will seem like to you. We'll be going over what it truly takes for Dogecoin to hit a dollar, including way more math than what other channels you see on this topic use, how most cryptocurrencies are scams, which is a bold statement for a cryptocurrency channel to say, and then comparing the Dogecoin millionaire's thoughts to a Ponzi scheme promoter. If we piggyback off of my first reason of community, and now we have a goal, Right, so the goal to get to a dollar. Right now, Dogecoin is valued at around 18 cents. To get that up to a dollar, we would need to around 5x the price. Now, theoretically, we would be able to take the current market cap, multiply it by five, and then do some simple math to realize we would need around $120 billion of buying pressure to make that happen. In reality, that's not really how it works. In fact, if every Dogecoin holder in the world had really strict morals and said, I am no longer going to be selling my Dogecoin below $1 and everyone did this, well, now the price is at a dollar. Technically, the price could go to a dollar without any more money flowing into the project, but all the investors would have to work together to pull it off. The reason it's at 18 cents is because there's some schmuck out there wanting to sell their investment for cash, and they're willing to do so at the low price of 18 cents. The price is determined by how low any single investor is willing to sell their Dogecoin at. If every Dogecoin investor didn't sell at all, the price could go to $10 or a million dollars each. But due to human nature, we know that's not going to happen. In the world of crypto, we don't really use order books as much as we use a new special algorithm called an automated market maker. Now, this is really technical, but I added up all the liquidity out there in all of those algorithms and found it to be around $6 million. This means to get the price from 18 cents to 100 cents, all we would need to add to the system is around $4.1 million of new investors' money using only these algorithms. That basically means it would only take $4.1 million to get the price to $1. In the real world though, the markets are made up of these algorithms and the old order book model, so it's hard to tell exactly how much money it would really take to 5x the price. If you want to learn more about that special algorithm, I broke it down so simply that your grandpa could understand it in another video on this channel. Just check the description below. I promise you'll learn something from watching it. Using the market cap method, we would need around $120 billion. And using the liquidity method, we would need 4.1 million. So I can reasonably guess to hit $1, we would need somewhere between 4 million and 120 billion. Now, this is kind of a pathetic guess, but it shows you how much we really cannot forecast when it comes to crypto. If anyone gives you a number of what it takes to get to a million dollars, listen to their reasoning behind why more than this specific number. Anyways, let's move on. We have everybody kind of encouraging everyone else to buy more Dogecoin because now it's like, all right, if I get it, then I have it at a certain price. If you get it, you have it at a certain price. And if we get more people to buy it, the value goes up, right? All right, that point was actually correct. Technically, each new investor buys less and less of the coin with the same amount of money if the value of the token went up. So on day one, I might be able to buy 10,000 coins with $1. The next day, I might be able to only buy 500 coins with the same dollar. And then the third day, with the same dollar, I might be only able to buy 300 coins. So when you say the value goes up, all that that means is that people are buying the available tokens out there and then reselling them at a higher price. As soon as the value goes up, I make more money, you make more money, they make more money. Here's the part in the video that I watched and I was like, I need to make a video on the channel about this because this is very incorrect. If I put in a dollar, you put in a dollar, and BitBoy Crypto puts in a dollar, the only amount of money we can ever total take out is $3. A fourth dollar doesn't magically appear out of nowhere for all of us to split and call profit. Here's a unique analogy I've came up with to help you understand. Think about any crypto, or really any stock, like a line of cups. Value isn't really created from investors, it's just moved. The first investor buys a stock, and for this analogy, he puts a cup on a table with some of his money in it. Since he only has one cup, all of the money is his no matter when he sells. Now, another investor comes along to the table and wants to invest. To do so, he has to split up his money equally between the first guy's cup and now his own cup. 
Next, a third guy comes along and has to equally split up his money into the first two investors' cup and then his cup. So each investor has their own individual cup, and the earlier they are, the more people ahead of them will put money into their own cup. Now imagine this all the way out to 100 cups. The table is filled with people's money and the cups, but the first guy is the guy who had a cup so full of cash, he had to upgrade from a cup to a bucket, simply because those 99 other people had put their money into his cup. Even more so, the first 20 people also have their cups loaded, even though if during their initial deposit it may have seemed like they gave most of their money to the previous investors, way more investors came along and redeposited that money back into their own cup. Now, to finish this analogy, it's time to think about what happens when we want to take our money out. Because up until this point, all these investors just wanted to put their money in, not take it out. The rules in this cup analogy is that whatever your cup is, you can cash out only what's in your cup. So if the first guy cashes out, no matter what, I guarantee he's going to be loaded. The last guy though, sadly for him, technically 99% of his money is deposited in other people's cups. So he definitely isn't going to make any money unless he can get more people to invest in the cup game. Now I know what you're thinking. Obviously this analogy is broken a little bit, and I know that, but if you're watching this video, your understanding of how securities work may also be broken. If we keep putting money in, we'll all get rich. That is not how it works. Securities are a zero-sum game. No value is truly created, just rearranged. The way most of these tokens work is when you make money, that money you made is from someone else losing money. In fact, every cryptocurrency is like this. Even when you provide liquidity, that money is coming from traders who pay you that money but they do it happily and knowing the complete terms of the deal. If you lend out your crypto, that money that you earn is coming from people who are borrowing your money and happily paying you an interest rate. And even more so if you're farming rewards somewhere, that money is technically coming out of thin air from the project minting themselves new tokens and then handing it over to you. Now technically it's not coming out of thin air, the added value that you're getting is coming from everyone's inflation. So I'll repeat this again, most, if not all, of every crypto project is based on a zero sum game. This means for someone to win, someone else also has to lose. And yes, even Olympus and all of Olympus DAO's forks fall under this category. I mean, think about it. 3.3 isn't an original idea when you realize 2.2 2 works in the real world of stocks. Of course we want all the other stockholders to keep buying more and to hold on forever so that our share of the stock increases in price. 3.3 3 is not a new idea. It's just been marketed in a way that makes it Twitter friendly to get people new to crypto to buy some ohm or time. All right, I'll end this rant now. Let's get back to the Dogecoin millionaire. Oh wow, so let's get more people to buy it, and then the valuation goes up, and we all make more money. So like I mentioned earlier, you can only take out of the system what you've put into it. You can't magically create more dollars. Now yes, temporarily, there might be a point in time where every Dogecoin holder is an unrealized millionaire, meaning that they hold enough Dogecoin that if they sold it all, they would be a millionaire. But as soon as one person does that, it brings the price down and suddenly everyone else loses their millionaire status. So you can't magically make everyone a millionaire by investing in something. The money simply flows from one place to another, it is never created. It seems the only place that can create more money is the United States Federal Reserve. And they have. I would advise you to look at the recent house and car prices to see how their infinite money printing has affected the value of the dollar. So it's one of those things where it's like, if we do that enough times, we can get to a dollar, which is the goal. So now we have a goal, Doge to a dollar. I don't have much to say here, but if you've ever studied how cults work, they commonly have rituals or songs or phrases that bring peace to the members in times of trials. And Doge to a Dollar sounds to me very similar. Even it's, That's even kind of catchy, right? Doge to a Dollar. So everybody's jumping around like, oh, to the moon, to the moon, to the moon. Let's get it to a dollar. Let's get it. So it's encouraging. It's teamwork. It's, it, it's putting effort into it. It's telling everybody you know. It's shouting it from the top of the mountains. Everybody buy Dogecoin because then everybody gets rich. All right, this is basically shilling. Now, shilling is a new term when it comes to cryptocurrencies, and it basically means someone spouting off, this coin's gonna be the next moon coin, you should invest. Basically giving you financial advice to buy an asset, which may or may not be illegal, but has a bad rap in the real world. If you have to tell someone to invest, simply by just telling them to invest that they'll make money, and not by explaining what problem the investment money will solve, you need to rethink your investment. What problem is Dogecoin solving? Bitcoin solves a unique problem, inflation. Ethereum solves a unique problem. They're replacing a bank. 
What problem does Dogecoin solve? Because taking money from a few hundred thousand investors and giving that money to a few hundred people who invested early enough to be lucky is not really solving a problem. The creator started the coin as a joke to poke fun at Bitcoin, so that should give you some ideas on the problem that it's solving. I do want to say at this point in the video, I really don't have anything against Dogecoin, but I do have something against people telling other people to invest in Dogecoin so that they can get rich. In fact, I don't think you should do this for any cryptocurrency. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it'll it, like having a goal in mind and having a, a finish line, even though that's obviously not going to be the finish line, I'm going to keep going, but it's the short term goal, get it to a dollar. That's another reason why I feel like Dogecoin is an incredible investment opportunity right now. The last thing he mentions here is that he believes Dogecoin is a great investment opportunity simply because the community has a goal. Now, Ethereum has some goals, Tesla has some goals, even a group of representatives of Bitcoin have set up specific goals. In fact, I can guarantee you my dog has some goals when I let him outside in the morning and he sees the squirrel across the street. Goals themselves do not give value or make an investment profitable. This is faulty logic. Faulty logic has no place for any investor, especially an investor who has accumulated a large following. So please do your own research and subscribe if you haven't already, because I'm soon going to be posting a video on exactly how to do your own research, since everyone says to do it, but never really explains what they mean by it. Also, if you thought this video was interesting and want to join a community of like-minded people who are passionate about getting to the bottom of making good crypto investment decisions, you can head over to whiteboardcrypto.com, enter your email, and receive a link to join our free Discord group. Although I'll let you know the paid Discord has much more interesting conversations, but I'm not going to share with you how to join that in this video. Wrapping it all up, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I really hope you learned something, and lastly, I just want to say that we have a goal of getting to a million subscribers, and you can help. I'll let Dogecoin Millionaire take it from here. We're all in this together. We're all a part of a team and we're all trying to get it to a certain goal. 